So today, we gotta tell you something, guys. We've got to come clean with you. So this is clearly our first time using this washer. What's up guys? I'm Jesse. This is Melissa. That's blue. That's blue, our old dog. That's, he's kind of going crazy, Come to here, be honest. Honey. So today, we gotta tell you something guys. We've got to come clean with you. But we're referring to... Coming clean with coming a clean washing machine. With a washer. Ah, and so we can do laundry from inside our rig. We're so excited. Yeah, so it's been a long time coming, but we finally redid the flooring in the back, we repainted Melissa's desk, and we're finally making our toy hauler our own, and it has hookups in the back, and yes. so we got one of these cup it? Cup it? Washing machines. A lot of RVers use them, and it basically, it has a wash basin, and then a spin dry. And we think that'll be perfect for us, because, I don't know, because we follow the weather and we can just hang dry everything. Yeah, we're hoping that we'll be in areas where it'll be warm enough to hang dry our clothes. And if not, we can always pop on over to a laundromat just for drying. If we need to. If necessary. Probably won't have to. So. But like always, guys, make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, if you find some knowledge in this. And let's get to it. Let's open let's this open bad this boy up. up. Directions. We need the directions. As you just saw, we pulled it out and literally there's a plastic wrap around it and a piece of styrofoam on the top. It's very lightweight, first impressions. It has a drain hose and supposedly has a drain pump built in. It, like I said, it just has the two basins. I believe it, this is the 26 pound basin load size. There's like a 16 and a 26. We got the larger one, so let's take a look. Back here, we have our hookups. This is our sewer, our water, our power. We have a plug right here for this washer. And basically, that's it. Melissa's removing the plastic. Our plan is to slide it in here. And it's basically, you know, gonna fit right there. And then we might have to just move our bikes over a little bit. It's perfect. So now, Melissa, can do the laundry while she's working. <laughs> what do you think about that? No? No, that's my job. I'm actually the one that's really excited because I tend to do most of our laundry. Occasionally we'll be like, night out, laundry night, yay, and we'll go to laundry mat. Super but exciting. for the most part, like if I go into town for boondock and I go to town, I take the laundry, I do all the laundry, and it's not that horrible. It's it's nice because you just get it all done at once and it takes a couple hours. Yeah. But this will be convenient because there's times when we're boondocking, if we only stay, let's say, for like a week or 10 days, we're gonna have extra water in our tank. So then we can be like, oh, we just have one load and kind of stay on top of it more or it like- It might be a really far drive into a town to get laundry done, so. And laundry mats are really expensive. We did the math, it was something like, like, I don't know, I wanna say six months this will be paid for, because this was roughly $150 for this washer. And then other than that, I mean, you know, you're saving quarters, you're saving convenience. You're saving fuel, not driving to a laundromat. To and from a laundromat, yeah. So, I mean, a wash cycle can take up to five bucks sometimes, is that right? Yeah, so five, six dollars, and then a dry can be a couple bucks here and there. And then our plan is to just hang a clothesline inside when the weather is, you know, well, and then to be honest, when the weather is nice, we'll probably just hang stuff outside, like on a tree or on a trailer to our truck or vice versa. I'm here, I'm looking at the Amazon stats for this specific, I can't say that word, specific 
washer. So this is the 26 pound capacity. They do have a 16 pound capacity as well. Um, we went with the larger one just cause you know, more bang for your buck, I guess. And as far as power usage goes, we have solar, so we have an inverter, uh, and then we have three batteries. We'll link our solar video right here. But as far as power consumption goes for this washer, it's 280 watts for the wash cycle, which is on the left-hand side, we'll show you that. And then it's 140 watts for the spin cycle. So this thing is super efficient, and we're looking forward to that. Because like I said, we get free power now there's lots of times we have extra water so it's just going to be convenient to stay on top of the laundry so this one right here on the left side is the wash tub and it's pretty big if you want to take a peek in there it's pretty deep i can get almost my whole arm in there and then this is the spin dry side on the right so we'll which see. it appears that the spin dry is about half the size and that's one of the things I read is that lots of times when you're doing your spin dry, you need to break it up into two spin dries. But apparently the spin dry gets the clothes like almost dry. Like people say like 99% hang them for 10, 15 minutes, you're good to go. This washer comes with this cheap hose. We didn't really like it. So we got a rubber hose my dad had in his garage. I know it's black. My wife is like, oh, it's so ugly. We actually hose clamped it on. And then down here, for our washer hookup, kind of hard to see, we needed to add a fitting here. Uh, can't see it. Some of you might need to add a fitting. Some of you might not need to add a fitting. We have a hose clamped on. And then here, we have the drain, and we have the power cord. That's literally it for this washer. We are gonna see how it works. Clearly our first time using this washer and we don't think that there is an automatic water shut off so we just kind of had to eyeball it and then shut off the water manually there are water levels in here that you can barely you can't even see it but you could feel it with your finger it's high medium and low um, and supposedly there's a switch in there but we can't find it so we don't think it actually exists but anyway, our wash basin is now full and we're going to throw in a few articles of clothing just to give it a test run and see what happens. I'm just putting in a pair of socks, a pair of jean shorts, um, a few shirts, and then a towel just to not overfill it at all. I just kind of wanted to see how it works before we put a bunch, like a full load of clothing in here. So we will see what happens. Just kind of want to see how it works and everything before we go full kill on this. One of the most important things I read was to put very little detergent and apparently it gets them super clean and it washes them very well. So we just have a little bit. This is a Kirkland Ultra Clean. So this is the wash timer and they're recommending for delicates you do between 3 and 6 minutes and for everything else you would do between 9 and 12. They also have up to 15 minutes for heavy soils. We're just going to put it on about 10 minutes. And over here we have the wash selector knob, which from ranges normal. from normal to gentle. And then this is the drain option, I guess, when you are done with washing. Correct. So you select your cycle, start the washer, and then when the wash timer finishes, then you turn this on to drain. I Seems about right. I don't know what happens from there. We're kind of guessing. We're going to find out. Turn it on. Let her rip. There's so, so much dirt coming out. I want everyone to know that this is being run off of our solar and our batteries right now. So we should go take a look at our oh, controller yeah. and see what it's pulling. So right now it's 12.30 in the afternoon, basically midday. And you can see that when that motor kicks on, we're pulling, you know, four or five amps. But the problem, the motor kicks on one direction and then it stops and it kicks on the other direction. That's why you're seeing, you know, it jump back up to 16, 17 amps and then it just draws back down to four. So very little load on our solar setup, which is great. I kind of feel ashamed. Look how dirty that water is. Sorry guys. But it's good to know that our clothes are getting clean. I think it's done. The water is so gross. So dirty. Focus camera. That's from hiking. Uh, My hiking shorts. Uh.
All right, so now I'll turn it, close the lid, because we don't know what it's going to do. Turn it to drain. drain. You can't turn it. Gentle. Gentle. You actually have to push it kind of hard. We're draining. We're draining. So this washer has a built-in pump for the drain. A lot of these models, you have to be careful which one you get. So it doesn't have a pump. So basically, it'll just drain by gravity-fed draining system. This one actually has a pump. So the drain is actually at the bottom, but it's pumping it up and it's going out water hookup. So just be careful what model you buy. Make sure it's not a gravity fed. Make sure it actually has a pump to pump the water out of your tank. So now we're switching the clothes from the washer to the dryer side. Spin dryer. Since and it's done draining. Obviously this basin is not as large as the main. So that's something I read online that you have to do basically half of your wash in half of your spin dry. So you load your clothes up. Don't mind my underwear, guys. And then they give you this little disc, and this you're supposed to kind of firmly press down like this, and it kind of helps keep the clothes um, so it doesn't get too catty wampus. <laughs> and I'm sorry, say what? Catty wampus. Is that a word? What does that mean? Close the lid. Close the other lid. It's still draining, though. Should we wait until it's done? Yeah, you're not supposed to use it until it's done draining. Okay, so we're gonna wait until it's done draining. Before we use the spin. Before we use the spin. We loaded it, but we're gonna wait. They have a one to two, a four to three, or you can go all the way up to five. We're gonna start with three. So I did read that it'll shake a little bit, and then once it kind of settles, it'll, uh, Settle down and smooth out. There it goes, smoothing out. So that was a quick four minutes. It's done spinning. Let's check it out. It looked like a lot of water came out. Pull out our little chingonera. Oh, ho, ho. Is it dry? Don't mind my underwear, guys. <laughs> These are moisture wicking underwear that dry very quickly. But those are some shorts. This is a shirt. I mean, a this shirt? It's pretty dry. Wow. That's... That is really good. Would you say it's 95% dry? I mean, that's drier. I mean, there's even a full on dry patch right here. This is drier than norm a normal washer would be, for sure. For sure. A normal washer, they'd be a lot more wet coming out of there. I mean, this is still pretty damp. That but... one's a little damp. Yeah, this is, but this is a thick that's material. That's a thick, thick material, like a thick dress. Yeah. Do they smell clean? I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how much I sweat in this thing. That's not a good example. Smell my underwear. No, that's you, a better you example. You smell your own underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about this towel? I smell towel. The so towel. this is a dish towel. It smells fine. Let me smell. It smell it doesn't smell amazing, but it smells good. I'd say it smells more clean than it smells more dirty. It's no, it smells clean. Smell it. Yeah, it smells pretty clean. All right, what do we got but here? remember, we didn't do any of the... Are you filming me? Yeah, I'm just kind of filming in general. Okay, but remember, we didn't do any of the rinse cycles, and we used very, very little detergent, but this is our test run, so we can always do more rinse cycles or add more detergent in the future. So this is our version of a drying rack. Luckily, we have a toy hauler, so basically we drop the back, and we hang our clothes here. I mounted these ladders a long time ago, so they're out of the way. These are the ladders to get up into the extra beds. We're just gonna hang our clothes here real quickly. What's great is all the open air coming in. They're, like we said, they're almost dry. And then as well, up here above, we have a max, probably won't be able to see it. We have a max air vent fan, and we have that thing turning pretty good, so the combination of the back door being open and sucking air up through there, these will be dry in no time. And it's pretty easy. I think this washer is gonna be very convenient. Questions? Comments? Does anybody have any questions? Concerns? So this is just our initial install. We're still messing with it. We're still reading online. We're still watching videos. And we're just trying to get a feel for the washer. It seems like the clothes are pretty clean. 
and I love how dry they are. That is clutch. Yeah, and we didn't even do any uh, rinse cycles like you can um, if you want. It's another option. We're trying to really conserve water. That's one of our goals because we do a lot of boondocking. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed. It's like hardly takes any power. The wash basin's big. Uh, the spin's a little smaller, so you have to do two sets, but I think that it'll it'll help us keep up on our laundry. We still might occasionally go to laundry mats, just if we, if we get behind and we just want to take care of all of it. Sometimes it's just easy, but I think the plan is to try and keep up on it rather than letting it pile. Because <laughs> we do that a lot. Yeah, we do that a lot. Yeah. And then also we plan on doing like a six-month review video on this setup, what we like, because then we'll have a better idea of what we like, what we don't like, like. Can we wash like a big Carhartt jacket? Can we wash a full sheets? set of, a full set of sheets? Um, and then also like you know our drying situation right now, you can tell <laughs> we just get all of our clothes hanging from those ladders. And to be honest, that seems that was just something we came up with, and it seems pretty good yeah. so far. I mean, especially on a warm day like this, we have the back patio down, mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of airflow, and it's pretty warm out here today. So. We're looking forward to seeing how this works out, and if you're interested in that review video um, that we're going to be doing a few know, months from few now, months, probably once we've we feel been like using it for a while, please let it, us know down in the comments. Keep keep an eye out for that, <laughs> and as well in the comments, we will link to this washer. There's a lot that are very similar. We'll link to this direct one that we have, and uh, I, I read a lot on Amazon. I did a lot of reviews. I think it's $169 because we went with the larger wash basin, the 26, instead of the 16. Mm -hmm. So we'll link that below if you guys want to grab one. Yeah. It does it does help us out. We appreciate it. So click that more info button down below and you'll find the exact link to this product yep. in the description of the video. But like always guys, we appreciate you watching and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and and if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell after you subscribe and you will never miss one of our videos.